Tombstones of Poetics play a key role in Final Fantasy XIV, but are easily forgotten about at max level and left to cap and go to waste. Here are a few ways to both use them up and farm them. Gill Sync A stack of 2,000 Poetics can reliably be turned into 10,000 plus Gill, though dependent on market board prices. Lots of items sell for Poetics, with the two most reliable routes being Trading Poetics with Hismina in Idleshire under her special tab for unidentified shells or ore and then trade the shells or ore for Grade 3 Thanalan or Shroud Topsoil from Batana who is the vendor standing next to Hismina under her uncanny knickknacks. Whack these on the market board for easy gill. Before buying these, check which of the two soils is at the highest price at the time before deciding on which. A second reliable option is to buy level 80 battle accessories in your mod and then trade them with your free company officer for Grand Company Seals. You then trade the seals for Cordials to put on the market board. Comparing the two options, you'll get just under double the amount of Cordials than Soils. 24 versus 13 for 2000 Poetics. But Soils usually sell for more, so normally prioritise these, unless Cordials price is stable at over 55% of Soils. For example, if Soils are selling for 1000 Gil, get them unless Cordials are selling for at least 550 gil. As a side note, if you're not looking to make gil, Grand Company Seals have lots of other uses. For example, the above is a very good way to amass seals to buy ventures to fuel your retainers. Leveling Gear Top gear for each level milestone 50, 60, 70 and 80 on your way to max is purchased via Tombstones of Poetics with a full set at each level costing 4,055 Poetics, providing a pretty good sync. This gear will likely be a big power bump when you hit each level, as would have been the best Tombstone gear of the related expansion, and will keep you going until the subsequent expansion. Link in the description to my gear levelling guide for full details on when and where to gear up, including material requirements. Old relic weapons provide some of the coolest, glowiest weapon glams in the game and require truckloads of poetics. This can include going back to get the Realm Reborn relics, which can take up to 3,575 tombstones of poetics each. And then the big one, the Heaven's Ward relics, which can take upwards of 26,000 tombstones of poetics, depending on how you require many of the required items. In addition, Shadowbringer's relics require 1,000 Poetics to get you started. To note, the Poetics elements only cover some aspects of the steps to obtain the relic weapons. They also involve many other tasks. I'll link to a couple of reference guides that others have made in the video description. On to farming Poetics. Dungeons can be a great source of Poetics. In particular, the level 60 dungeon, the Ethereochemical Research Facility, pays the highest amount of any dungeon with a 150 tombstones per run. It's on the longer side, with a semi-decent duty finder group taking about 18 minutes, but as it's a main story dungeon within the award-winning Heaven's Ward free trial, queue times are usually okay, and also it's a good candidate to net you the 100 tombstone new player bonus, which is granted whenever someone in the party hasn't completed an instance yet. Daily Roulettes the main scenario roulette currently awards 500 poetics, 300 for the roulette and 200 for the dungeon itself. It's a bit of a meme activity, but it's a lot of poetics in one hit. Also, if you're leveling up an out job in the process, then the huge hit of XP makes it a win-win, and you get to watch a whole Netflix series during the cutscenes. Milk this now as the MSQ dungeons are changing come 6.1, and I strongly suspect the rewards will be reduced at the same time. The level 50, 60, 70, 80 roulette is a bit variable as it's 100 poetics for the roulette and anywhere between 20 and 150 for the dungeon itself. You may end up getting less than a run of the ether chemical research facility but given lower paying dungeons are generally quicker you're likely to benefit from it. The normal raid roulette. 80 for the roulette and 0 to 20 depends on the raid. Worth a punt though if you get unlucky on the raid and group it may not be worth your while via the time it takes. Personally, I don't think the other roulettes make too much sense from a Poetics perspective alone, but if you are doing other roulettes like Alliance for the fantastic XP granted, then it's also a solid source of Poetics at the same time. Wondrous Tales, 500 per week. Pick your Wondrous Tales book up from Chloe Alaport in Idle Shower and complete 9 out of the 16 tasks in your book. 
ranging from dungeons to raids, PvP, among other things, and often old EX trials, which you can do unsynced solo in under a minute. Do your nine activities over the week and hand it back to Chloe for 500 poetics in addition to half a level of experience and other rewards which could potentially be worth millions of gil. Full guide on Wondrous Tales coming later this week. Hunts. A great source of poetics among other things like top level materia. If you get involved in an A rank hunt train in an Endwalk area it will involve 36 A rank hunts. Each will reward 30 poetics, so 1080 in total in addition to an abundance of level 9 and 10 materia, and will take about an hour and a half to two hours to complete. Hunts from older expansions offer the same poetics, but are far less lucrative in terms of materia clusters. Hunts can feel a little less accessible for some as they are community organised, but I'll add a link to a discord which covers most data sensors in the description. Eureka Fates Label Notorious Monsters Fates in each Eureka zone reward 24 to 120 poetics per fate as the levels go up in each zone. Fates can vary in spawn rate, but where consistent they are arguably provide the best poetics farm in the game, with most notorious monsters barely taking a minute. Also, don't be put off if you are yet to tackle Eureka. The poetics rewards are the same in the first zone as in the last, so you only need to jump into the first area and get to level 20 to farm effectively. And of course you'll be collecting poetics along the way from the notorious monsters as you level. Plus Eureka is a fantastic blast. Like and subscribe to complete the duty.